Chris, uh, you've, you've submitted uh, for this warrant, uh, depending on how you count them, anywhere between seven and nine warrant articles from your department. And this stunning last moment appearance of this warrant article as a private petition begs the question why, if you so endorse it, why didn't you include it as one of your warrant articles as, as a department uh, warrant article? Just came forward. Yeah, go ahead. Excuse me, that question is directed to Chris, the DPW director. As I said earlier, it's a multiple year project. I literally thought that we could cover this engineering and we had time. With the, all the digging that Experience Hampton did and all the meetings that we've had, we've met September, October, November, December, it was apparent three days ago that this needed to proceed forward now rather than later. What really substantially changed in the last several days is Experience Hampton coming up and saying that they would put up a portion of the money. Without that public-private partnership, you're right, I thought that I had uh, enough on the table or had presented enough to the, to the voters. But it's, it's very timely to get this done. It, it is, uh, others have stated, uh, you don't let this opportunity go by. You to be honest with you, I presented to the Board of Selectmen over 13 million in articles. Was this one of them? No. As okay. we said three days ago. So you, you, you presented so a enormous million. list totaling $13 million, and the Board of Selectmen, using their prudent uh, wisdom, narrowed it down to what was presented to us, right? A number. And of, of right. that enormous $13 million, it did not include this work, correct? Correct. All right. Now, you had mentioned that you were aware of this article before and worked with the wording on this one. Three days ago. 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 Okay. When was this uh, warrant article uh, submitted, uh, Regina? Oh, she's left the table, sorry. I, I think it was uh, Monday. I saw the article come in when I was at the town office. I think it was Monday? Well, Madam Chair, I was actually oh, at the okay. Selectman's meeting in which they reviewed all their warrant articles Tuesday at 5 p.m. I don't recall this being one of them. Hmm. For, for the record, um, the article was uh, submitted in on the 10th of January. Uh, yeah. Per the town of Hampton handbook, page 14. Yeah, what time of day it, was that? It indicates, excuse me, it indicates that in that handbook, page 14, that a warrant article has to be submitted in no later right. than Tuesday, the second Tuesday of January. It does not specify what time. 5 p.m. It does not specify 5 p.m. Madam, Madam Chair, I'm reclaiming the floor. Yes. I was at the five o'clock meeting on January 10th, the Board of Selectmen. All right, and although those who watch Channel 22 will often hear the town manager's report, him saying the last chance to get in the warrant article yeah. is on January whatever at 5 p.m. at the Selectman's office. Yeah. We, we hear it every year, the same thing. Yeah. Right. This year when I was at the January 10th Board of Selectmen's meeting in which they reviewed the last minute warrant articles, the town manager did point out that people have until midnight to actually submit them. Oh. I believe Mr. Selectman Waddle asked, well, where do they submit them to? And the town manager said, any one of you people, oh. that is one of the selectmen, can receive them up till midnight uh -huh. of that time. So my question is still, actually, was this submitted prior to that selectman's meeting at 5 o'clock, or was it between 5 and midnight? That's all I'm asking. It, it was received by Selectman Waddell at 7.53 p.m. that oh, evening. Okay. All right, so it was submitted after the Selectman's meeting, and that's what caused it to be voted by the Selectman over in the corner earlier this evening. Do I have that right, uh, Jim, uh, anyone from the Selectman? And I see that the Selectman voted three to one. Regina, are you back? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Uh, who was the one that opposed uh, the, uh, the, the uh, warrant article? Jim. Selectman Waddell. And I'm, I'm wondering, Madam Chair, if I could invite uh, Selectman Waddell to uh, regale us with his wisdom on why yep. uh, we would uh, consider his point of view on this, as well okay. as the Good. points of view we've already heard on the pro side. Mm -hmm. Good. No. And the answer is no. He doesn't want us to regale us up with his wisdom. <laughs> 
So, Madam Chair, what we have here is uh, a warrant article raising $300,000, and even if you take off the the uh, $30,000 so-called public-private partnership, mm -hmm. Madam it's Chair, still $275,000, and uh, it was submitted literally. I mean, you can't get much more last minute than that. I mean, uh, 7.30 at night after the Board of Selectmen had reviewed the so-called last-minute warrant articles. Mm -hmm thrown at us at, I mean, we didn't even know it was here until we turned the page. <laughs> There's been no consideration at all uh, that we've had an opportunity to give to this to this uh, warrant article, which may have been Selectman Waddell's objection to it. I don't really know. Uh, but even Chris, who had submitted $13 million in Department of Public Works warrant articles, which was subsequently pruned by the Board of Selectmen using their prudential wisdom on, on the general topic, even that enormous $13 million did not include this work. That's how important this work was considered by the DP direct, W director to all this time. And as you just heard Chris say, well, he got inspired by you know $30,000 maybe uh, underwriting this uh, this exercise. And, and we're, so we're throwing out you know $270,000 because uh, we might get $30,000 in free money on work to a future project, which the town has not approved this future project. It hasn't even been defined. So the town has not had a chance to, to approve the future project referenced in this Warren article, yet we're being asked to put in hundreds of thousands of dollars in investment in a future Warren article that we haven't, as a town, Approved. Madam Chair. And once we get to the point of the future project being defined, the argument will then be, well, gee, we've already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. Don't let that all go down the drain. Vote for this now defined future project. This you know how, everyone every knows year. how this game this is going to get played out. Make the investment now. I we'll have a creep, point on we'll this creep, creep, article, Madam Chair, I have the floor. I have signals that you realize that. Wait. wait. We know how this is this creepy crawly game of getting us down into these rows of investments that we might not make in one step, but if we baby step them down the road and convince them they've already spent hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of dollars that would be wasted if you don't pass this, well then they have a better chance. Just like we get these savings programs where we just throw money aside and say, oh, now we're going to take it out of there, and by the way, no tax impact because we already robbed you, or, excuse me, we already taxed you on that money. This last minute is absolutely absurd. It gives us no opportunity to properly deliberate nor ensure that this has been integrated with the other DPW work. And I'll say again, Chris put out $13 million in DPW warrant articles and didn't include this work at all. That's how important this is. I strongly urge you to vote no on this. I have no further questions or comment. Yes, Madam Chair.